is Aletha Sheck and you are in Curious Classroom Adventures. Today we're going to learn a math game called Bubblegum Bump and we are going to be focusing on the concept of division but division as repeated subtraction. Looking at it in that way. So let's look at how to play Bubblegum Bump. To play this game you are going to want a partner to play against this Bubblegum gum Bump board and the little Bubblegum Division cards. Okay, and each, you and your player will both need um, a set of counters that are different colors so that you can keep track of who has which spot on the board. So to start off, we're gonna shuffle up our cards and we will place those face down where both players can reach them, okay? Um, and on your turn, you're gonna draw a card and since we're practicing um, subtraction as repeated addition, we're also maybe gonna want some scrap paper to solve with, but we're gonna solve 18 divided by three using repeated subtraction, right? So let me hop over here on my scrap paper. This is our turn, 18 divided by three. So I'm just gonna keep divide, keep subtracting three and see how many times I can do that. So 18 minus three is 15, right? And then I'm gonna take the 15. 15 minus three equals 12. 12 minus three equals nine. 9 minus 3 equals 6, 6 minus 3 equals 3, 3 minus 3 equals 0, okay? So 18 divided by 3, I could do that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. So my answer is 6. So once I solve that, I'm going to come over to the board and find 6. Let's be green today, okay? Here's 6. I'm going to cover 6 with a green counter. Now my partner gets to go, right? They'll do the same thing. They have 10 divided by two. So let's see, 10 divided by two equals, let's see, 10 minus two equals eight, eight minus two equals six, six minus two equals four, four minus two equals two, and two minus two equals zero. You keep subtracting until you get to zero. So that was one, two, three, four, five times. So 10 minus two equals five. So my partner's gonna come over with their purple counter, find five on the board. They actually have choices. They could put it here or here. Let's put it right there. They've covered that space, okay? Now, the next time we go, if we get a division problem that gives us an answer that we already have covered on the board, so if I draw again and I get a six, I could cover this six again and lock it forever. Or if I got a problem that ended with five, that my quotient at the end of the problem was five, I could bump my player off and put my own counter there, right? So you can only lock it once you've had, you have two counters on there. So let's see what we come up with. 24 divided by eight. Well, let's come over to our scrap paper. 24 divided by eight equals, let's see, 24 minus eight equals 16. 16 minus eight equals eight. Eight minus eight equals zero. So I could subtract three times. 24 minus eight is three. Well, I can't lock or bump, but I can cover a new uh, a new bubble gum piece. And I have choices for three, here or here. Uh, I'm gonna go with down here. All right, my partner's turn. 36 divided by four. Let's see what they get on that one. 36 divided by four equals, let's see, 36 minus four equals 32. 32 minus four equals 28. 28 minus four equals 24. 24 minus four equals 20. 20 minus four equals 16. 16 minus four equals 12. 12 minus four equals eight. Eight minus four equals four. Four minus four equals zero. Whoo, that was a long one. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I could subtract nine times. So let's go find nine on the board. Our partner's gonna cover nine. They're purple. I think this is our only option right there. All right, it's our turn again. Ah, I keep drawing two cards. 35 divided by seven. All right, 
here we go. 35 divided by seven equals, let's see, 35 minus seven equals 28. 28 minus seven equals 21. 21 minus seven equals 14. 14 minus seven equals seven. Seven minus seven equals zero. One, two, three, four, five times I could subtract. So 35 divided by seven is five. All right, look, my partner already has a five covered right here. Oh, where'd they go? Right here. We're green, they're purple. They have a five covered right here. So I could take my green counter and I can bump their five off and cover that and make, their, make them take their purple counter back, right? Or I could have covered this other five that was already open. It's up to us, right? Remember, if I already have a, my color on that number and I get that answer again, I could put two on there, then it would be locked. And my partner would not be able to bump me off anymore, right? That one's a locked space. So you'll keep playing that way until time runs out or, or until the board is completely covered. Whoever has the most bubblegum pieces covered at the end of the game is the winner of Bubblegum Bump. Have fun. Mm -hmm.